Hi guys, I'm Brian from Website Learners. Did you know that ChatGPT can code? And did you know that you can create games with ChatGPT? Well, I've been trying all sorts of things with ChatGPT, and today I had this thought: If ChatGPT can code, why not try to use it to create a video game? Well, in this video, I'm going to find out if ChatGPT can help us create a web-based video game from scratch. Also, I'm starting with very basic knowledge in coding, and I'll be relying entirely on ChatGPT to guide me through creating this game. So buckle up and let's dive right in. So let me just ask ChatGPT to suggest a simple game that I can build using HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. As you can see, it not only gave us the game idea, it also gave me the outline and its mechanics, and it also asked me whether it should generate the code to build this game. I will ask it to do that, and let's see what happens. So now we have the code. Now we need a way to test it and see if it actually works. To do that, I'm going to use an online code editor called CodePen. To access it, let's go to codepen.io. Now here, we need to paste the code that ChatGPT generated into these three sections. So let's go back to ChatGPT and copy the HTML code and paste it into the HTML section. In the same way, I'm going to copy and paste the CSS and the JavaScript code. You can see the game's UI and the balls are working fine. But these parallels are not moving. We should be able to control the left parallel with our keyboard, and the right parallel should be automatically controlled by the computer. You can describe it to ChatGPT or even tell it specifically what you want, and it will generate the code for that. So now, for our pong game, let's ask ChatGPT to regenerate the code so that the left parallel is controlled by the up and down arrow keys, and the right parallel is controlled by the computer. As you can see, ChatGPT has regenerated the JavaScript code. So let's copy it. And replace the old code with it. And as you can see, the parallels are working fine, and the game is working flawlessly. Now, as someone who doesn't know coding, ChatGPT has made it easy for me to create the game. And seriously, I'm impressed. Next, let's see how good ChatGPT is with making puzzles. This time, I'm going to ask you to give me an idea for not one but three different puzzle games. Let's go to ChatGPT. Ask it some questions, and it gives us three unique puzzles with the description and the game mechanics. So I'm going to ask ChatGPT to provide the code for the third game, and just like that, within seconds, our code is ready. So let's quickly copy and paste the code into CodePen and see how it works. As you can see, the game is ready to play. The task is to arrange the numbers in the correct order. So let's have a try, and yeah. It's quite interesting. Now let's ramp things up. The games we tried so far were too simple. Let's try to create something a little more challenging, like Flappy Bird. So let's ask ChatGPT to build the game, and it gave us the code for the game. So let's copy and paste the code into CodePen. As you can see, ChatGPT has given us a very basic version of the game, but it's missing a few features. So let's ask ChatGPT to add some extra features to make it look better and function properly. So currently, there aren't any guidelines for when the game should start or end. So I'm going to specify a few things, like the game should start after the first click and end if the bird touches the pipes or crosses certain boundaries. And when the game ends, I want a game over notification on the screen along with the retry button. So let's go ahead and ask ChatGPT to make all these improvements to the game. And look at this. This time, it has only provided me the updated JavaScript code. Since I don't know anything about coding, I'm not sure where exactly to make these changes. So I'll ask ChatGPT to generate the full code. Now let me quickly copy and paste the code right into CodePen. And as you can see, the game doesn't start by itself. You need to make the first click to start the game. And if the bird hits any of these pipes, you'll see a game over notification on the screen. Now, if we click the retry button, we'll be back in the game with a fresh start. Now that the game is working properly, next let's see how we can make this game visually stunning. To do that, I'm going to replace the images of the bird, pipes, and the canvas background by providing image URLs. Then we will also add a scorecard at the top right corner so that whenever we successfully cross a pipe. The score increases. I'm also going to ask ChatGPT to give the background a stylish gradient makeover. Now ChatGPT guides us on what we need to do step by step. 
So first, we need to get the images. So let me just search for the images. And download them to my computer. Now we can't upload these images directly to ChatGPT. So we need to upload them as links. To get these images as links, I'm going to use an online tool called postimages.org. Just upload the image and you'll get the image link. Once we have all the links, let's copy and paste them into ChatGPT and specify which link corresponds to which image. And ChatGPT generates the code with the updated image links. So let's quickly copy and paste them into CodePen. And as soon as we add the CSS code, you'll see that the background has been changed here. So once you've got the entire code in place, you can see that we've successfully recreated the look of the Flappy Bird game. So let's try it out. I have to say, it's actually pretty amazing, but I want to make some final adjustments to make it look even better, like enhancing the scoreboard and displaying the score on the game over notification and a few other tweaks. So let me just do that and see how it works. And there you have it guys, after countless number of chats and a lot of back and forth with ChatGPT, here's the final game output we've got. It's pretty incredible to think that we started with absolute no coding knowledge and ChatGPT walked us through each and every step. The possibilities are limitless and the results are seriously impressive. We've just seen how handy ChatGPT can be in making games, even if you're a newbie like me. Now it's your turn to get creative and make your own games with ChatGPT. So if you like this video, give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos. Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until then, take care. Bye-bye.